Hello everyone. This session we will start with the Bernoulli Navy Base classifier. In the previous session, we discussed the data formats for a Navy Base classifier and three different types of uh, Navy Base classifier. So in this session, I will discuss about the Bernoulli Navy Base classifier. So when we should use Bernoulli Navy Base classifier, if X is a random variable and it's a Bernoulli distributed, means, means if my variables are the binary variables. So it can assume only two values for simplicity, let us can them be zero and one. And their probability is given by this equation. Their probability is given by this equation. So probability of X is equal to P if X equal to one and probability of X is equal to Q if X equal to zero. So if you know the probability of P, you can calculate the probability of Q is equal to one minus P where my probability lie here between the zero and one as usual. Right. So here we are considering only the one input variable, right? My data set is a single dimensional data set. So if my data set is a single data dimensional data set, we can easily calculate the probability of X equal to P if X is one and if it is equal to Q if X is zero, right? I hope student you are clear with this. Let us discuss this Bernoulli Navy Base classifier with one example. So what we are Assuming here, my all the variables are binary variables and represented by the two values zero and one. So this is the data set where my data set records are represented by the four different attributes, right? So we are ignoring here name of the animal, right? So my four variables are give birth, then can fly, then live in water and have legs. And based on these four attribute values, right, features, we want to predict whether the given animal is a mammals or non-mammals. The given animal is a mammals or non-mammals. So in the data set, there are total 20 records. And if you observe, if you observe, there are total seven records. Those are having the class label mammals and the remaining 13 records, those are having the non-mammals. So my data set contains here the four different attributes that represent the type of the animal that is give birth, whether that animal gives the birth, can fly or live in water or have legs. And based on these feature values, we want to predict whether these uh, the given uh, animal is a mammals or non-mammals, right? So here, if you observe, all the features are the binary features. So here give birth is having only two values, yes and no. Can fly have only two values, that is a no and yes. Then live in water, again, yes, no. And have legs here, yes, no. Right, so based on these binary variables, we want to uh, predict the, we want to build the model using a Bernoulli Navy based classifier and we want to predict the class of the new query here. So I assume here, assume here uh, in data set there are total uh, 20 records right total 20 records and assume a is the attribute here in the solution represented a as attribute m represent in the solution mammals class and n represent the non mammals class right so as you know the formula for for the uh, uh, base theorem right here we use the base theorem to predict the class of the new query for the given class so this is my query given in here, uh, give birth is yes, can fly yes. My new example or new animal where we don't know the class label is given here, right? So these are the values of this new example or query point. Yes, no, live in water, yes, have legs, no. So what will be the class label? So if you apply, apply here Navy based classifier, right? where we calculate the probability of every attribute for the all the class labels in the data set. So here my class labels are mammals and non-mammals. So first we will calculate for the mammals for all the attribute, and then we will calculate for non-mammals for all the attributes. So here is the solution. So out of seven 
records here seven records are in the data set those are mammals for here you can see one two three four five six and seven total seven records are there those are mammals and remaining 13s are your non-mammals so out of seven my six are there they can give the birth yes here we want to compare with the my query values right so out of seven six are there where give birth is yes right then in the second attribute again we want what can fly no so out of seven records six are there where my can fly value is no then out of seven two are there where live in water is yes out of seven again two are there where my have lain legs is no so if you find the product of this for mammals class we get this probability 0 0.06 you know the data formats we discuss the formula of the calculating the probability of the query for the given class right as per the base theorem right so it is a product of these values then calculate for the non mammals so out of 13 one is there where my give birth is yes out of 13 10 are there where can fly is no out of 13 3 are there where live in water is yes and out of 13 4 are there where have legs is no so if you find this product you get this probability 0 0.0042 so we multiply this probability with the individual probability of mammals class and the non mammals class so mammals class into this value you will get the probability of the query for the given class as a mammals then if you multiply this product probability of non mammals with this product that we calculated here right we get this probability right so here is we are getting 0 0.0027 so if you observe student if you observe we check for the maximum probability so probability of attribute for the class level mammals into probability of mammals is greater than the probability of attributes uh, for the non mammals into probability of non mammals so because this probability is greater my new query belongs to here mammals so if you observe the formula is same as uh, we discussed in the previous sessions right navy based classifier only my attributes are here the binary attributes i hope student you are clear with this now we'll see the uh, scikit learn code for the bernoulli navy based classifier right so here assume uh, this dummy data set that we are creating using make classification method right so here from sklearn dot data set we are importing make underscore classification class then assume we, uh, we want here the 300 uh, records in the data set and my data set we want with the two features right so these are the parameters we are passing to the make classification function right number of samples those are uh, 300 here then a number of features we want to right and an informative number of class label we want to here so if you visualize this data set those were fetching into the x and y variable with the help of this statement right your data will be look like this only two class labels are there that is red and blue right and total number of records are 300 now we can apply here the Bernoulli Navy based classifier because my data set is a binary data set. So what is the inbuilt function available in the uh, scikit-learn library here from sklearn.navy base import Bernoulli Navy base. So here, you know that in the Navy base, uh, there are multi in the Navy base family, there are multiple variations, right? So first variation we are dis uh, discussing here Bernoulli, right? So my this Bernoulli Navy base, right? Classifier is defined under this library sklearn dot navy underscore base, right? So here B is capital, again NB is capital. Once you have imported the required library, you can create the object of that class. So before that, we are importing here the trend test split function from the model selection library, right? To divide the data set into training and testing set. So you know that this is the syntax for dividing the data into training and testing set. Here my test side we are passing as a point 25 means 25% will be taken into the test, uh, test data set and remaining 75 into the training data set. 
then we are creating here the object of bernoulli navy base classifier right then bnb is the name of my object right with the help of this object then you can fit your model you can execute your bernoulli navy base classifier with the help of fit function where we are passing the x train and y train because my navy base classifier is a supervised learning technique we need x and corresponding uh, y label right for that x record so with the help of this training data set my model will build here a trend here that we are using to predict the class of the new query so here is the test data set in the x trace and y trace variable that we are passing to the score function right this score function we are calling with this object bnb object which will calculate the accuracy of this testing data set so we are getting here 85 percent accuracy right so this score function is equivalent to the accuracy underscore score function so inbuilt accuracy underscore score function is there under this score function i hope student you are clear with this thank you